typical town on a weekday morning and these are typical traffic conditions. This sort of congestion is a familiar sight in all of Britain's towns and cities. As more people rely on their cars to get them to work or the children to school, rush hour traffic just gets heavier and heavier. Apart from the obvious annoyance of being stuck in this every morning, there are other effects. Traffic tends to be stationary in the same areas morning and evening every day of the week. This leads to localised build-up of pollutants in that area and certain vehicle emissions are associated with respiratory diseases and cancer. Research shows that there's a link between air pollution and worsening conditions for existing asthma sufferers. Vehicle emissions are now the main contributors to air pollution problems in our towns and cities. Technological advances are likely to improve the situation but it's predicted that this improvement will soon be cancelled out due to the rise in the sheer number of vehicles on the roads. As is usually the case in these circumstances, children are most at risk, both from the fumes and the physical danger of traffic. British business also suffers as a result of these hold-ups. People arrive at the office already stressed and aggressive. Deliveries get delayed. The chances of being involved in an accident increase. Visitors are discouraged from visiting. The CBI estimated that traffic congestion costs British business £15 million every year. In Staffordshire in 1991, there were well over 400,000 cars owned by the people living in the county. This number has increased by 28 cars every single day since then. There are over 400 million car journeys made by Staffordshire residents each year, and they're on the increase. Do all these journeys really need to be made by car? The problem of air pollution is not just a local problem, it's a global one, as motor vehicles produce carbon dioxide, which is a major cause of global warming. Worldwide, there's increasing concern over the decreasing quality of the air everyone breathes. World leaders address this topic at the Rio Earth Summit and the UK central government has its own strategies and action plans already to address these problems. But you may say, this isn't really my problem. What difference can I possibly make? 